Over the past few weeks, NASA's super-powerful James Webb Space Telescope has provided unparalleled views into the distant regions of our cosmos. Unsurprisingly, some of these astounding new discoveries have created more questions than they have answered. Despite the fact that Hubble has been one of the world's best telescopes for the past 30 years, galaxies that seemed like featureless blobs when viewed through it may now be resolved in astonishing detail. Understanding how galaxies, including our own, were formed requires the ability to measure the forms of galaxies, known as their morphology. Galaxies are commonly divided into two types, thin, delicate disk-shaped galaxies and spheroidal elliptical galaxies, but it is unclear how and when these diverse galactic forms evolved. In a recent paper, using early JWST observations of large galaxy cluster SMAC0723 to measure the shape of extremely distant galaxies, with this interesting new data, scientists hope to expand our knowledge of galaxy development all the way back to the beginning of our universe. This picture of SMAX 0723 was one of the first to be released by JWST. The cluster is around 4 billion light years away, with a redshift of 0.4, but today's paper looks at even more distant galaxies in the background of this image, many of which have been magnified by the cluster's gravitational lensing. It focuses on 280 background galaxies, with redshifts ranging from 1.5 to 8, implying that we are seeing them only 1 to 4 billion years after the Big Bang. The authors begin by quantifying galaxy shapes, by examining quantitative features of galaxies, like as concentration and asymmetry. Most of their intriguing discoveries, however, come from visually dividing these galaxies into three categories, disks, spheroids, and peculiars. This third type of galaxies has an irregular form, which can be created by phenomena like starbursts or tidal interactions. Collisions between galaxies, known as galaxy mergers, that are now taking place can also result in these peculiar galaxies. These catastrophic events are expected to play a significant role in our galaxy evolution. In the early universe, mergers allow vast amounts of matter to cluster together, forming a galactic disk. They can eventually demolish these delicate disk structures, transforming disk galaxies into featureless ellipticals. At high redshifts, between 3 and 6, around half of galaxies have a disk form. This is far greater than previously assumed. Hubble data suggests a disk percentage of less than 10% at identical redshifts. Surprisingly, according to JWST, the disk percentage remains fairly consistent over the whole redshift range. Because scientists currently believe that mergers assemble galaxies in the early universe, we should anticipate seeing many unusual galaxies and few disks at high redshift, as these disks are still developing. However, the near-constant disk proportion discovered in the study suggests that disk galaxies like the Milky Way have been in a relatively stable condition for more than 10 billion years, which appears to contradict the previous assumptions. So, what exactly is going on? These findings can be interpreted in a variety of ways. It's possible that practically all mergers happen very early in the universe, fast-generating disk galaxies, and that these disks persist until now because recent mergers are significantly less common than our current models imply. Alternatively, it is possible that only certain types of galaxies are formed via mergers, or that mergers are just less likely to destroy disk structures than previously assumed. In any scenario, it suggests that we may need to revise existing theoretical assumptions about how galaxies form and evolve through mergers, which is one of the fundamental predictions of our commonly accepted model of the universe, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, or CDM model. Some papers based on this research have gone so far as to claim that it disproves CDM or even the Big Bang, Nonetheless, despite the title's allusion to early 2000s punk rock, there's no need to panic. If you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and if you love reading, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.